Good morning, children. Children, today we are going to see a very interesting chapter. See, that is history when people rebel. That is 1857 revolt. So the 1857 revolt before it, the 1807 Vellu revolt. And this 1807 Vellu revolt is the first seed of the Indian War of Independence. After that only 1857 revolt. Children, you know what is the meaning of revolt? Revolt means the protest. The protest against the British. Against the British. Here, who did the revolt? So the main point is who did the revolt? The rebels. The rebels. Who are all the rebels? The rebels are spread in all over North India. Especially this revolt only started in North India, not in the South India. Now, we will go to the causes of the revolt. Children, you know, whatever thing, what is happened, very any big incident happened, there should be important causes. So, here, even the First World War, Second World War, there are so many causes for that. Same thing, we are having so many causes for the First World War and this 1857 revolt. First one, the political causes. Second one, the economical causes. Third one, social and religious causes. Fourth one, the military causes. Fifth one, the immediate cause. First one, the political causes. Under political causes, there are two reasons, children. Two reasons. First one, the doctrine of laps. Doctrine of laps. Okay. What do you mean by this? The doctrine of laps is a... Important issue by Lord Dalhousie. What do you mean by it? This is nothing but children try to understand. This is nothing but the king or queen who did not have any issue, any children, any child, he or she should not adopt any child. Okay, if he or she adopt any child, only the treasure will go to the child, not the kingdom. The kingdom will annexed by the British. Okay. So, here the doctrine of laps, it was affected only the queen, Jansi Rani, Lakshmi boy. So many kingdoms, Jansi, Satara, Nagpur. Jansi, Satara, Nagpur. These kingdoms are annexed by the British. Why? Because these kings or queen, they did not have the issues. They adopted a son. Okay. So, the adoption son, king or queen, they should not rule the kingdom. For this, Jansi, Satara, Nakpur are annexed by Lord Dalhousie. Lord Dalhousie is such a beautiful personality in British Governor General. Okay. See, he is a very good as well as he is a very aggressive person. So, he did lot of good thing in India. That is, Indian Railway and Indian Postal System, etc., etc. He introduced in India. Next one. Children, did you understand the political cause? Did you understand the political cause? Okay. Now, the economical cause. What do you mean by economical cause? Economics is nothing but children. One country is improved in economically because... They are very good education, very good in agriculture, very good industrial development. So, that countries are called a developed country in economic. But here, the cause, the second cause is economic cause. What is here? Big Lord Canning, the another governor general, the first governor general of India. He was called as Viceroy also. Okay. The Lord Canning, he was the left hand of Queen Victoria. Okay. Queen Victoria. Okay. So, Lord Canning, he introduced so many taxes. He asked the peasants to give the taxes, revenue. Every time he collected the taxes and revenue. That's why the poor peasants... They are hated Lord Canning. They are not accepted to pay the taxes, unnecessary taxes. 
So here the people start the revolt due to the economical condition. Next one, social and religious condition. First one, social condition. The society is full of British. Okay. So I then and then they are ill-treated the Hindu people and the Muslim people. So here the social conditions, they are not allow them to improve their life, standard of life and only the appointment is given only the British people in the higher offices, not the Hindu people, not the Muslim people. Next one, religious. What is religious? Religious is nothing but the Muslims and Hindus are asked to convert into Christianity. Compulsory. The British people, they compel the Muslim and Hindus to convert into the Christianity. This is the social and religious causes. Military causes. Under military causes, the weapons, the Enfield rifles are issued both British and Hindu and Muslim soldiers. Military causes and the expenditure is more only for the British. The British leaders and social soldiers, they are in the high position, not Hindu Muslims. They are getting the high salary, not the Indian soldiers. The Indian soldiers are getting very low salary. Next one, immediate cause. So children, you have to concentrate on this because this important question under detail, or two more questions. Okay. What is immediate cause? See children, Barakpur. In Barakpur, near West Bengal, there is orthodox family. In orthodox family, there is a young boy called Mangalram Pandey. Okay. This is such an orthodox boy. So, he joined in the British military. You know, in British military, Indian soldiers are also there. British soldiers are also there. In Indian soldiers, for the Indian soldiers, the British, they issued the gun, rifles, okay. So, in the rifles, the rifles are polished by the cow fat. Here, the Mangal Ram Pandey did not, did not uh, touch the gun because the cows are sacred animal for him. So, he did not touch the gun. He got angry. Immediately, he shot the Commander-in-Chief, on the spot, the Commander-in-Chief first died. So, the other British general, they got angry and immediately he hanged the Mangal Ram Pandey on the spot. So, the Mangal Ram Pandey was on the spot hanged. Very tragedy. So, the immediate cause is the important cause under this 1857 revolt. Okay. Did you understand children? Yes. Causes of 1857 revolt. Political causes, military causes and economical causes and immediate cause. Then social and religious cause. Children, hope you understand this session. Next week I will see this.